Hi, I'm Bodie Pendis. Welcome to the first tomato harvest of the season. This is May 27th, and we just harvested our first tomatoes. It's hot here in Texas. Just look at this thermometer. When it's 100 degrees, we know it's hot. Typically what happens in Texas when you have tomatoes season and you have all these tomatoes flowers trying to set fruit, when it gets above 85 or 90 degrees, sometimes the flowers just fall off. You don't have fruit set. But that's not the main culprit this year. The Texas weather has been horrible for us tomato growers and tomato lovers. What's happened was it was cold late. It never did warm up enough for the tomatoes to set fruit as they typically do sometime in early March and in April. So we had a delayed opening of the bloom window. It shortened our 38 days on the front end by probably two weeks. If you want to know more about the bloom window, and if you grow tomatoes in hot weather, you need to know this. Then you need to go watch my video, The One Thing They Never Told You About Growing Tomatoes. Now, the second worst thing has happened, we've got early heat. And it's not just the daytime temperatures of already being 100 degrees. It's the nighttime temperature being above 70. Above 70 degrees at night, tomatoes won't set fruit very well. And so now, what we have in my garden behind me here, all the tomatoes we have on the vine is all we're going to get. Chances are we won't have any fruit set. I have had two plants that have had no fruit on them at all. And that's quite unusual. But this is what happens in Texas when you're growing tomatoes. Some years are very good like last year. This year make it very difficult. Today we're going to harvest our first blue gold tomato. Well, this tomato plant is kind of small, but we do have one fruit in here that looks ready to be picked. So let's harvest it. Here's our blue gold tomato. You can see the shoulders on it are blue. It has a nice yellow and orange banding, almost like little stripes on it. Gorgeous tomato. So now it's turn. We'll take that inside and we'll have that for dinner. This is the indigo apple. It's got a nice cluster in here. Here's a grouping in there. And here's another grouping in here. But you'll see these last little buds have not made tomatoes. It's too hot. We think that's the reason why you're not having enough production out of your tomatoes this year. This one here is blue chocolate. So it has the small blue shouldered, a little bit larger than cherry tomatoes. Here are my pink Berkeley tie dye. I've got quite a few of these down in here that look pretty good. We have one over here starting to show a little bit of color. That's the big mamu right there. Could be a record setter. But then again, we have one plant right here. So hot, it has had no fruit on it at all. Part of the Texas weather impact. This is Cosmic Eclipse. Nice, medium-sized tomatoes. We picked these because they're starting to be a little soft. And we know the birds like our, my tomatoes, so we picked these before the birds can get them. We think they'll darken up. You can see they have a little bit of uh, purple or blue on the shoulders here. Kind of striping in here. Well, it'll be nice and red inside, so. So I'm standing here under my Vitex tree, which blooms in the summer. It's a beautiful addition with my tomatoes. So if you want to see more of our tomato harvest as we go through the season and show what the difference is between grafted tomatoes and ungrafted tomatoes, hey, be sure and subscribe down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And as usual, come back and see me real soon.